Bloody hell! The name is Chaudhary. Yeah, Sir Chaudhary. I will have that shaken, not stirred. That very good Jimmy Elbondi. I actually can't do a fucking video nowadays without messing around. It's really actually hard for me to be serious. Me and Afs were discussing this the other day and we were saying that how do we actually put together a series of serious videos? It's boring as shit and it's annoying. Um, this is day four of my keto. I said I'm going to keep you updated and I said I'm going to stick to it. And I'm doing both of them. By the way, check out the uh, check out the 20s in the pink. Yep, real meal wear pink. That might actually be a little salmon colour, I don't know. But when I was in the gym, it looked like I was uh, not wearing anything. I'm actually lighter than light salmon. That's how much of a disgraceful Asian I am. So, four days into keto. How am I finding it? What am I doing? And what the hell is going on? Let's go through it. Okay, so day one and day two, I felt fantastic, full of energy. I was really pumped, um, really liked it, and I thought this is a piece of piss. I heard about people, you know, going into uh, going into ketosis and you know basically end the world and they can't they can't handle a week. First two days, I thought, well, this is a load of bullshit because I'm handling it well, and if anything, I felt better than I did on carbs. Day three slightly worse energy levels were down um didn't feel too great and i thought to myself all right okay my body's just adapting to it today complete downhill absolute downhill felt like i've been run over by a van not even kidding headache my legs felt weak um i was just feeling like absolute shit so i had a quick read up and i realized an important part of keto is getting your electrolytes correct and I had all the symptoms of someone who wasn't balancing their electrolytes so we'll go on to that in a second let me go into my diet okay so on my phone I have my fitness pal um, I don't really record all my stuff on there but I do record day to day and it kind of just helps me because I know people say oh just eyeball it you know fucking don't spend the time you can do that that's fine if you, if you want to eyeball it fine if you want to record it fine personally I'll get all my clients to record their stuff they're eating and to be honest when I'm giving clients their diets I write down their weight in food and I also write down how many macros are per taking per that meal okay so let me go through my day of eating this is the same on non training days and training days okay let's go meal one five large whole eggs so that's the white and the yolk 50 grams of extra mature cheddar cheese, 10 grams of coconut oil on a bed of spinach. That yields 670 calories. Meal two, a low carb protein bar, very low carb, it's got two grams of carbs per bar, and 25 to 30 grams of macadamia or almond nuts. They're a really good source of potassium, which again goes on to the next bit of the electrolytes keeping your electrolytes up meal three 100 grams 80 20 beef if you don't know what 80 20 beef is 80 20 beef is basically 80 percent of the 100 grams is protein 20 percent of the 100 grams is fat that's literally what it means if you go 90 10 it means it's leaner if you go 97 3 it means it's really fucking lean um then i have 50 grams of brussels sprouts 100 grams of spinach and 100 grams of avocado again that gives me my magnesium my potassium or my electrolytes Meal number four, I have this pre-workout about an hour and a half before I train. 100 grams of boneless chicken thigh fillets. One tablespoon of olive oil. 60 grams of 90% dark chocolate and spinach and kale. Okay, Again, good source of potassium, good source of fat, antioxidants, all that. So not only am I trying to improve my performance, I am also giving my body the beneficial needs minerals whatever you want to call it again i don't go into science and stuff i just do what i need to do meal five which i'll be having in a bit because i've just trained back is boneless chicken thigh fillets again 100 grams of avocado again and a tin of sardines in um, sunflower oil 
Okay, so sardines, really good fat, uh, really good source of omega-3 fats, which are really, really good for your body, really healthy. I would recommend mackerels or sardines because they are the cheapest bang for your buck. And I, you know what? I'm going to say this now. If you're bulking and you struggle to get the calories in, get some sardines and mackerels down you. Because a can of sardines is 40p and it gives you 250 calories. And I'm not even kidding you, it's about that big. Do you remember my mini Oreo ice cream dilemma? It's about as big as that. Um, meal number six, so this is before I go to bed, is uh, whey isolate and 40 grams of peanut butter. I mix that into a little dessert. So there you go, guys. 3,000 calories, that is around 2,950 actually to be uh, exact. That's my meals for the day. Massive, massive thing and I can't emphasise enough. Get your sodium sorted, otherwise you're going to feel like absolute shit. So today I've had about 10 to 12 grams of sodium and that's come through Himalayan peak salt and some a bit of lemon, a bit of foods with sodium in. I prefer to have the Himalayan peak salt because that is actually proven to lower your blood pressure. And in fact, I tell you one thing, I measured my blood pressure this morning and since I've started the keto diet, it's absolutely shot down. But my heart rate was slightly up and this was due to that imbalance of electrolytes. Since I've managed to sort that out, everything's on the low. I feel really good. Um, and I'll update you in seven, in another three days time to, to let you know what I'm doing because my plan is to maybe do a refeed the first week um, via a cheat meal or a carb load. And I know a lot of people say don't do it because you know you struggle to get into keto or whatever. I'm not doing this to lose weight as per se in terms of oh I want to get to a certain percent body fat. I'm just doing to see how my body reacts to this and yeah it might set me back for a day or two but I don't really need to, to drop the fat. Okay so stay tuned guys. If you have any questions comment on the, the video and I hope this is in the slightest bit useful um, I'm gonna go and eat voice recognition is not available bloody bastard any voice tag. I'm gonna go and eat register and a voice tag before Fuck using so. this feature women are so needy I'm gonna go and eat and um, post this up uh, there we go 20 or minimum Can you see the fucking vascularity really coming out shit all right peace out guys shit cheeky peck cheeky peck Cheeky vein peck.